Good morning, everybody. Shana Rucker here from Girlfriend's Guide to Network Marketing. Uh, happy Thursday already. Holy smokes, this week is just flying by. Um, so I'm excited today to bring you uh, the six, uh, one of the, the next foundations for success in network marketing, uh, which is duplication. So this is number four in the series. So duplication is key in this business. Um, so one of the things that um, you know we love about network marketing is the time freedom that it does offer us. Um, that comes from time leveraging and that comes from duplication. When you can teach somebody how to work this business and they can go out and then work this business on their own independent from you, that means you've duplicated yourself into somebody else and they're out working their business and you're earning a bit of income off that and as well, you know, showing them how to duplicate and, and, and that creates uh, you know, uh, layers upon layers of consultants within your business that everybody's out doing a, you know, a little bit of work, but we're able to get paid on, on all of that. And that's what makes network marketing so amazing. Um, you know, I have a busy life. I'm a mom of three. I have a dog, you know, everything else going on in my life. And to know that I can make the type of income that I can make in my network and marketing business without having to give up 40, 50, 60 hours a week, that is so important to me in my business. And that comes from duplication. So duplication is the key to time leveraging, absolutely. And you know you're going to have this in your business. You know you have this going on in your business, this key duplication piece, when you start to see people that are three and four and five levels down from you. That means that those there's some duplication happening. People are being able to bring people in, show them the simple system for success. They're able to learn it and then pass that down to somebody else. That's when you know you've got some great duplication happening when you're seeing those third, fourth, fifth generation consultants in your business. Um, and this is also where your paycheck grows. As this duplication happens within your business, it creates stability in your organization. So we really want to make sure that duplication is happening. Um, I've had moments in my own personal business where I've noticed that duplication wasn't happening. I could get someone to that next place or I could show someone how to do this business, but I wasn't really showing them or keeping it simple enough for them to show somebody else. And I had to make some adjustments in my own business when I saw that that was taking place on simplifying our system, you know, really looking into what I was doing with those new consultants and how I was coaching them and teaching them made some adjustments and we started to see duplication happen again. And it's really exciting. So, um, duplication is really when you're learning the skills on how to do this business. So if you're brand new to network marketing and you're starting to learn the skills of how to run your business and, and you're learning from your upline or your sponsor, whatever you want to call them, you're learning those skills. One, you're learning them for yourself. So you know how to do this business and two, you're learning them so that you can teach and coach somebody else how to do this business. So we're always, no matter what type of personal development you're doing, learning that for yourself, but also learning it so you can coach and train and teach somebody else. That's the key to duplication is learning the skill, but then teaching the skill to somebody else and then showing them how to teach somebody else, learn it and teach somebody else. So that's when you, that's when you'll see duplication really start happening in your organization. Um, so one of the things I've got some key principles here to making sure that duplication happens in your business. Um, so number one, like I said, is learning the skills and then teaching them to somebody else. Um, you'll know that that person has those skills down pat when you see them teach somebody else. So now you have a third generation consultant in your business because that person that you've gotten started has helped somebody else get started and then so on and so forth. So that's when you'll know you'll, you've got that happening in your business. Um, keep your system for success really simple to follow. Um, you know, keep it simple, easy to follow and easy to find, you know, do you have a place that is easily, easily accessible by all your consultants? Um, you know, you can create awesome, easy, um, websites through Wix or lots of those templated websites where you can house your documents that really makes it easy for consultants to find them and, and access them and use them. So making sure your documents are simply, uh, simply laid out, they're easy to follow and easy to access. Access. Um, so making sure that you have that simple system for success in place. Um, what you do duplicates, not what you say. So are you being the best consultant in your team? Are you showing your team how to do this business, not just telling them how to do this business? That's you know what you do duplicates. So if you're doing the do and you're in the trenches and you're doing the income producing activities and you're, you're doing everything that's required to make this business work, that's what's going to duplicate in your business. If you're just managing people, you know, you're micromanaging everybody and just telling them what to do, but you're not doing it yourself, guess what's going to duplicate in your business? 
micromanaging people. They're going to be telling people what to do, but they're not actually going to be doing it. So what you do duplicate. So being mindful of that, you know, when you're bringing people in, you're showing them how you work this business so they can duplicate that in their business. And another tip for duplication, you know, to make sure that it's happening and making sure that it's, you know, this, there's st everybody's staying to the system and sticking to it is making sure you're reaching down in your organization. If you do notice that you're starting to get second and third and fourth generation consultants in your business or whatever you call them in your organization, you know, reaching down and making sure, you know, hey, how's it going in your business? How can I help you? Um, you know, you're doing really well. Can you, you know, to have any questions, you know, what, what's happening in your business and making sure that that duplication piece is happening properly within your organization. The last thing you want to see is a consultant who, you know, decides to change everything up and is duplicating something totally different within their team because that most likely won't stick and that leg could fall apart very easily if they're not following your proven system for success. So it's good to check in, um, you know, down with your downlines and making sure that you keep that um, door of communication open with the people in your organization so that they know at any given time they can come up and reach up to you and talk to you about anything that may be going on in their business. If something's not working, this is an opportunity for you to look into what's being duplicated and making sure that if there is any issues there that you can tighten that up for them and help them you know, get on the road to being successful in duplicating their business. Because that's where you're really going to see the paychecks grow without having to put in, you know, a ton more time. I, I've been doing the same, pretty much the same amount of work in my organization over the last probably two or three years, and my paychecks continue to grow, but the time I'm putting into my business is not having to grow. Now, in the beginning, if you're brand new, yeah, you might be investing a ton of time into your business, learning the skills and, you know, bringing in the new people and learning all of that stuff, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be consistently giving it that effort. As you grow and duplicate your business, you're going to see that you're able to give you know, your business a, you know, a, a, a nice amount of time, but you're not going to have to increase that to be able to increase your paycheck. The duplication piece will kick in, and you'll see your paycheck grow without having to give you know, a ton more time to make that happen. So success block number four is duplication. You need to make sure this is happening in your organization. Keep it simple. You know, do the do yourself. Um, you know, making sure that you're reaching down and checking in with your teams to make sure they're all duplicating the same thing. And I promise you, if you can keep that simple system for success that you follow really tight, easy to follow, easy to access, you will start seeing that duplication happen in your organization. But it starts with you. So you need to learn the skills yourself, do the do yourself, and then duplicate that out within your organization. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. This is Shana Recker from Girlfriend's Guides to Network Marketing. Always trying to keep it real, keep it relevant so you guys keep going. I really enjoy being on here with you. Share this with your teams if you think that this was helpful. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments below. I look forward, I love the comments below. So please, um, you know, give me a thumbs up, comment below if you appreciated this message. And I look forward to delivering uh, content, uh, series, the fifth one in the series tomorrow. Um, and I look forward to seeing you then. So thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.